first number one reason is that God cannot be born. God did not come into existence. He's always existed. He did not come into existence from non-existence. He was not born. He was not created. He has always been before there was even a thing called time. And we, as we all know, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born. He was born without a father. Yes, indeed, that was one of his true miracles. But he was indeed born. He was in the womb for nine months and he was born. So that by its very nature shows that he does not have the same quality and characteristics that God has. God cannot be born. Jesus was born. So those two people cannot be one and the same. There is not a single unequivocal statement, not a single unambiguous statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says worship me. Anywhere in the Bible. If any Christian can point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. In fact, you read the Bible, yeah. it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14. Verse number 28, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, My father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, My father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devil with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 20, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, the will of Almighty God. It's mentioned in Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 30, that not my will, but God's will. Anyone who says it's not my will but God's will is a Muslim. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was a Muslim. Now God, when he speaks of things, when he talks of his own characteristics and who he is, he is very, very explicit. God does not beat around the bush about these type of issues when it comes to who he is. The Bible says by God's own word that no one has ever seen God at any time. This is very clear. In John 1 18, it says, no man has seen God at any time. In 1 John, no man has seen God at any time. Even Jesus' own statement in John 5 and 37, Jesus says, and the Father himself which has sent me hath borne witness of me, and you have neither heard his voice nor seen his face at any time. And Jesus was standing right there amongst them. So had he been God, why would he say you have never seen God at any time? You understand? This is what I'm talking about. This is clear cut. You have never seen God. If he would have been God, he would have said, you're looking at God right now. It says, and I quote, verse 13, For God is not subject to temptation to evil, and he himself tempts no one. So here we go, clear and cut, precise and definitive. God is not tempted into evil. Can he be tempted into doing evil, sin, you know, wrongful deeds? And the answer here is clearly no. But Jesus was tempted according to Matthew chapter 4 verses 1. It says, quote, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. So that means that Jesus is not God. Why? Clearly because he was tempted by the devil. That means he was tempted to do evil things. That clearly shows to you and me that Jesus can never be God.